Good, uh, good evening, everyone. As uh, Ray said, my name is Chris Tavares. I'm running for Washoe County School Board District D. For those of you who are not aware of District D, because most people are not, District D is from 80 Freeway South down to Huffaker Lane, Collin Ranch to 395. So it's a it's a all of Southwest Reno, old Southwest Reno. Now, before I tell you about who I am and why I'm running, I'm going to tell you a story about a place called our Washoe School District. Washoe School District is a place where less than half of the students are proficient in math or English. Washoe School District is a place where there are policies in place where to, for teachers to not tell parents things about their students. Washoe School District is a place that controls a $1.5 billion budget. These people on the board have so much power and influence. And I think that sometimes people don't understand the extent of how they impact our society. Every day our students go into these schools for four, five, six, seven hours and are taught things that you don't want them to be taught. They are in overcrowded classrooms. They are unsafe. Violence in Washoe County Schools is at an all-time high. These, in the classrooms, they talk about a lot. They talk about injustice, oppression, our students are the ones that are being oppressed and they are suffering injustice at the hands of the policies of the school board. Now, why am I running? Because the kids that are in the school district, for the most part, for the most part, they don't have another option. Washoe County is going to drop down to 2001 levels of school enrollment because anyone and everyone who can has the option to homeschool or private school has done so. These kids that are in our district, these same kids who have been in our district for 12 years who still add up single digit numbers on their fingers. I see it, I work in the schools. I'm there every day. These, these kids don't have a voice and neither do their parents. And they need a voice, they need someone to fight for them and really fight for them, not to do what happens on the board and it's happening right now. Get appointed to the board, win an election, and then run for another seat, because I don't really care about school board. I'm just using this as a platform to run for something else. They don't care. They have an agenda, and they're pushing it relentlessly. And if we don't act, and we don't support people like myself and other good people who are running in races, there's nothing going to be done. That's the bottom line, folks. There's nothing that's going to be done. Because they have a six to one majority on the board right now. Six to one. They pass anything and everything they want. You complain, you petition, they don't care. We need seats. And in order to get seats, we need your help. Now, who am I? I'm a career educator. I spent my entire career developing youth, working in schools, being a basketball coach, football coach, you name it. But the reason that I'm running is because I was those kids. 
I grew up in the Central Valley, California. The grandson of Mexican immigrants, a poor family who depended on the schools. They trusted the schools that when I went there every day, they were going to educate me. They were going to make me a better student. They were going to prepare me for success. And because of that, back then, I had the pride of being the first person in my family to graduate from college. Now, why I'm running is for all those kids who are in that same boat, whose parents trust that when they go to school, they're gonna get a good education, they're gonna be safe, they're gonna be taught things that are useful. Not just be pumped full of a certain agenda that doesn't help them succeed in the real world. They deserve a fair shot. They deserve somebody that's going to stand up for them and actually put them first. I don't want any other position. I don't want any other political role. I want four years to help fix what is going on in Washoe County. Now, how do, how do we do this? Right? How do we do this? As I said, we have to act. We have to vote. If you can, help in some way. If you can donate and that's all you can do, please do so. If you can walk and knock doors, please do so. But we can't do this alone. I'll be honest with you folks, there's lots of people out there who I talk to who say, God bless you for running, I would, but all these thousand reasons that they don't want to run. And they're all legit. So when somebody stands up here, if you believe me, if you believe that what I'm telling you is the truth, please help us. Please help us because we can't do it without you. Now, the final thing I want to say. Even if you are somebody who sits up here and you say, well, my kids are grown, my grandkids are out of school, my children are in private school, I want you to think about one thing. All of these students, there's 60,000 of them in Washoe County. Hundreds of thousands throughout the state. They are going to live in the world with your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. They are the, if you have a business, they are the, the people that you are going to be looking to hire. When we are older, they're going to be the ones making the decisions for us in this realm, the political realm. Do you want them successful, educated, happy? Or do you want them angry, upset, poor, and thinking, what happened? So please understand that these races, a lot of times, they get overlooked. Please don't overlook this race. We have people on the board who 100% do not care about what happens. They're going to push their agenda, and in two years, they're going to be gone. And the final thing I will say is this. If you've, never, if you've paid attention to the school board at all, you know what I'm talking about. They tell you every single board meeting, they tell you every single news, uh, news event, Every single press conference, they tell you who they are. They show you what they care about. So please believe them. Please believe them when they show you they don't care. When they show you that they're pushing an agenda. When they show you that teachers and students and administrators are in the lowest concern. Please believe them and support candidates like myself. My name is Chris Tabarez. Vote ChrisTabarez.com. Vote ChrisTabarez.com. Please go there. I'm going to be here if you have any questions. Thank you for the time. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you, Chris. I, I'm Bill Conrad.